it is ultimately important for you to, to look at your goals, truly what you want to do in your life, and then look at the people who you spend the most time with in your life and figure out if that lines up. All right, what's happening? What's happening, guys? We're back. Sorry for the couple day hiatus there, but uh, I am back. I'm back at home. Uh, today is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. It's a very special day in our house today. My little man, Kingston, turns five years old today, so happy birthday, little buddy. Little dude is like my best friend, man. He's an amazing little kid. I am blessed that he calls me dad. Uh, man, can't love that kid enough. So um, so October 2nd, 2019 means you've got exactly 89 days left in 2019 to make this year one to remember. Hopefully, you have one to remember for a good reason, not a bad reason. And that is all in our own control. So today's topic, guys, is uh, what do you deserve and uh, we're going we're gonna to dig into this one here in a second. Uh, but before we do that, I want to just plug uh, a, a, the event that I posted about last night. We've been waiting to kind of start to release the information on that event. So we are holding a business and pleasure type retreat down in Anguilla. We have secured a few uh, locations. I'm going to show you one of those locations this morning on video uh, the, the name of the retreat is the Goal Digger Retreat, G-O-A-L. I've had a couple people ask me that. A little play on words there. A Goal Digger. The Goal Digger Retreat will be January 13th to the 17th, 2020. And I can assure you guys, we've got an agenda on that plan, on that trip, that is going to uh, unlock a lot of incredible things in people's minds. And uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. But I'm going to show you just a little video of one of the two properties. And these properties are right next to each other on the beach. I want to show you one of those two properties this morning uh, and what it looks like. And you guys can get an idea of what this event, what kind of energy and feel this event will have. So here you go. It's a two minute long video. Hang with me here. <laughs>
Pretty awesome, huh? Uh, we're pretty excited. What you saw in that last image there, that whole entire hillside uh, is uh, what we secured for the event. So it's about uh, 2,000 feet of oceanfront uh, private beach uh, for only the guests that attend. And uh, it's going to be an experience, guys. It's going to be uh, unbelievable. So if you guys didn't see the post, go back and read my post. We'll be talking about it ongoing here. Uh, but it is it is a retreat that is intended to unlock a lot of things in your mind, create success in your life and in your business uh, beyond what you ever imagined. And uh, as we share the agenda, you guys will see exactly how we plan to do that. And uh, man, it's it's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys can join us down there in Anguilla, January 13th to the 17th, 2020. Uh, so today's topic, guys, let's jump in here. So what do you deserve? So I heard, you know, I heard something on this last week and it kind of, you know, sparked me to want to talk about it on, on the show. Uh, and, you know, people talk all the time about what they deserve, you know, what other people deserve. You deserve to be happy. You know, you deserve success. You deserve this. And so I think that word is a really tricky word. Like what you start telling yourself that you're deserving of. Uh, can be really tricky and it can be a trap uh, in your life. If you start believing that you are deserving of anything, I think it's a slippery slope. And I think it's something that can put you in a spot where you feel like you're never getting enough of what you believe you deserve. And so, you know, I've heard people say things like, you deserve to be happy. Or, I work so hard, so I deserve this. Uh, there's a lot of people in this world, you know, that want a handout. And, you know, I don't, I don't get uh, political at all, but there's a lot of people out there that talk about, you know, all, all the, the, the people out there that are running for president talk about what they want to give you. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we don't, you're not going to feel good about what you're given. Uh, you're going to feel good about what you work your ass off to get. And, you know, that is, uh, that is something that's near and dear to my heart. It's like, you know, I see people that want things easy for them. And the reality is guys, the reason that you will feel fulfilled in your life is not because of what you deserve. It's because of what you earn. And I want you guys to think about that. It is, it is really easy to get in this trap of, of what people tell you and people, you know, get you down this path of like, well, you deserve to be happy. No, you deserve the happiness that you are able to create in your life. And, and the reality is, guys, uh, you know, what you're able to create in your life, the happiness, the fulfillment, uh, that comes from choices and so that whole idea of deserving something is, is really where my issue with that statement comes from, right? It's like, you know, you don't, we are not as human beings, we don't have rights uh, to much. We have, you know, rights to freedom and we have rights to uh, being treated fairly, uh, those types of things. But when it comes to the extras in life, and that's what really everybody is chasing, like, you know, if you look around you, you look at people that that take their freedom, for example, uh, for for uh, granted rather. Uh, they take their freedom for granted a lot. Like when you look around our country, there's not a lot of people that that wake up every day and are just crazy grateful uh, for the life that we get to live in the United States, right? There's a lot of people who are, you know, just complaining all the time and and you know negative, and and they don't realize that you know just living in this country puts you in a better spot than. Uh, a lot of places in the world. So if you think about that, uh, that that is that is a true statement. And so when, when we talk about what we are deserving of, the reality is is that we're deserving of the things that we are willing to sacrifice for. Uh, we are deserving of the friends that we are able to go the extra mile for. That we are willing to go the extra mile for. You know, when I when I look around in my life and. You know, the friends that, that I am lucky and blessed enough to call my circle, uh, you know, every single one of us is willing to do anything, truly anything uh, for the other. And, you know, uh, I'll give you some examples. I mean, 
you know, every one of us has been in a spot in business in a pinch where, you know, we needed some advice or we needed uh, a conversation or maybe we needed a hand with something. And uh, there is never a hesitation as to what someone else in the circle is willing to do for you to help that situation be better. Um, you know, I, I won't name names, but one of our one of our uh, people in our circle was having some challenges uh, employee wise, you know, uh, a few months back and, you know, having a conversation on the phone and, you know, I just said, man, let, let me know what I can do. I'll, I, I can be there tomorrow. No problem. You know, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll help you in any way that I can. Well, can you do this? I'm like, no, I don't know how to do that, but I know how to do this and I can take that off your plate and I can help. And, and I tell you guys that because I think it's important to realize like, That word deserving, like, you know, you're deserving of what you create, of what you're willing to put in the work for, of what you're willing to never give up on. Like, there's going to be a lot of adversity between you and getting the things that you want. And and if you're willing to go through that sacrifice, go through that pain, go through that adversity, go through that pressure, then on the other side of that, you are given what you have earned. You don't, you don't deserve anything until it's the time for God to give it to you. And at the end of the day, the universe, the world isn't going to give you anything. You don't, you, you're not deserving of the things that you sit and dream of. What you're deserving of, you will earn through hard work, determination, never giving up, constantly pushing forward. The sacrifice that it takes, you know, uh, I spent the last couple of days on the road here and, you know, that's, I did a live stream from up there and and I was watching it uh, back last night just because sometimes I like to do that to see, you know, what it sounds like and, you know, just try to get better at at this whole thing. And, you know, I, uh, one of the things that I just wanted to reinforce this morning is like, you know. Those things that we do, and, and I, I try to tell my story publicly because I, I want to help people. You know, I don't I don't do it so that, you know, people know what I'm doing or or think, oh, man, you know, he works so hard. Like I don't you know, at, at this point in my life and I say this with the with the most respect and, and trying to be, uh, you know, just try to be as respectful as I can, like. I don't need other people's applause at this point. You know, I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the kudos that people give me. I'm a positive person. I welcome that. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't, I don't do anything that I do to try and impress anybody else. Uh, at this point in my life, I'm trying to impress me. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, find a higher gear for myself. I'm trying to get more done in a day for my own benefit. I'm trying to Um, you know, just, just get as much out of my life as I possibly can, because, you know, I've started to realize just how short it is. And I've started to realize that, um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of time to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And so what I want in my life, uh, what I want to work for, I don't have time to waste to do that. You know, I have, a finite amount of time to make the life for my family that I want. I want to create the life that I feel that they deserve, uh, that they deserve for sacrificing for me. You know, that my wife, you know, uh, I was getting up this morning and I looked over at my wife and I like literally thought to myself, like, if I didn't have that woman in my life, there is no way that I could live the way that I live, that I could pursue the dreams that I have If I didn't have her, if I didn't have her support, if I didn't have her never complaining when I have to go on the road and and do the things that I have to do and spend time away from our family. You know, I I came back from Rochester, New York last night uh, to be here this morning to surprise my little guy for his birthday. But, you know, those are the things. And it's it's not easy always, you know, when you got to go on the road, when I'm in my office here for 16 hours a day. But those are, those are the things that you sacrifice to create the life that you want. And, and I hear a lot of people talk about what they don't have or what they want. Or, you know, I, I, I read a post a couple of weeks ago talking about, you know, how, how some kids get all these things and how this person's kids didn't have that. And, and I, 
I just, that irritates me, if I'm being honest, because luck is created. There is no such thing as luck in this world, right? There is no such thing as the things that we deserve. There's no such thing as luck. That luck is created by the actions that you take. They say luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And so I would ask you guys to think about this. When you talk about what you deserve, I want you to look at your actions every single day and do they match those people that you aspire to be? So for me, I look up to a lot of people. I read a lot of books about people that I want to be like. And so if I'm not willing to make the sacrifices that those people make, then I will never deserve even a chance to have the life that they had because you can't have the gift without the sacrifice. And so I want you guys to recognize how often people talk about what people deserve, what you're deserving of, and think about that in your own life. Because as human beings, we have, you know, certain things are, you know, just givens. We should be treated respectfully. We should have opportunity in life. We should have freedom. Uh, we should have, you know, religious freedom. You should be able to choose, you know, to believe in what you ever, whatever you want to believe in. But at the end of the day, the things in life that society measures us by today, you know, whether that's, you know, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in, what kind of clothes you wear, um, what you're able to provide for your family. What you are deserving of is what you are willing to sacrifice for. And, and by the way, everybody's goals and sacrifices are not going to be the same. And that's okay. Like, you know, uh, there's somebody that I follow talks about all the time that, you know, mon money is not the motivator for everybody in the world. And, and I want you guys to know that money is not the motivator for me. Fulfillment is the motivator for me. You know, uh, there's, there's money that's made along the way, but the reality is, is that you are not going to be successful in life by focusing on money. You're going to be successful in life by, in life by solving people's problems. When you are able to solve problems for people to help other people get what they want, Zig Ziglar says, you help enough other people get what they want, you will have anything that you want in life. And that is what you're deserving of. What you're deserving of is what you earn by the sacrifices that you make, by the problems that you solve for other people. And if you want things in your life, then you have to be willing to do what it takes to be able to check that box and, and you know, say, quote unquote, you deserve it. Because I don't know that we're deserving of anything. I think that you work hard enough and you get those things gifted to you. But when you think about, you know, you deserve to be happy. Do you deserve to be happy? Or do you create your own happiness? I hope that everybody is happy. But the reality is the only way that you're going to become happy in this world is if you create it. The only way that you're going to achieve massive success is if you create it. And, and I said this on a, another uh, live that I did. Maybe it was in the morning or maybe it was uh, one of the other ones. But it is, it is not just doing something, you know, one time, two times, three times, uh, three days in a row. It is doing something for years that will create these opportunities for you to achieve in your life for, you know, creating these opportunities that allow you to take your life to the next level. And by the way, guys, it's never too late to start. You know, there's a lot of people that are around my age, like 40 years old, you know, that think to themselves, well, you know, it's too late for me now. I can't start a business or I can't, you know, do this or I can't do that. It is, you, you absolutely can you know, 40 is like the new 20, 25. Like, you know, you're just getting started. You just have enough information and experience and skill to really do this a lot faster than you could have years ago. 
And, uh, you know, so I would encourage you guys to think about that. You, do you, are you a person, and it's okay if you are, are you a person that ever thinks to yourself like, man, I deserve to, to have, you know, what these people have or, you know, um, do you look at other people with envy? And the reality is if you do that, you're selling yourself short by not really thinking about it from the standpoint of what it takes. How did that person get it? And, you know, the reality is, guys, what we are trying to build here by doing this show, by doing the retreat that we're having, we're trying to build a circle in this world where people can come and they can express what they actually want in life and that there is a, a, a group of people, a circle of people that will help you get there. And uh, I can tell you this, of all the things that I have in my life and all the gifts and all the fulfillment, there are a lot of people that are regulars in my life that I talk to on an everyday basis that play a huge role in me being able to feel fulfilled like that. And I, I can't tell you how grateful I am to have those people in my life. You know, when we, when we started to put this retreat down on paper and we started to line out the content that we were going to deliver to people to help them be able to take their life to the next level, be able to take their businesses and do anything that they want in business. Um, it's I can't describe the feeling to you guys. It's hard to put into words how it felt. It was like, I've literally wanted to do this my entire life. But the reality is, guys, I didn't earn it until I was willing to put in the work to get there. And what did that require? For me to get to that point of being able to do something like this, it took 20 years of hard work. It took years of commitment to social media and responding to people's posts. Um, you know, and, and the post that really changed my life was, you know, my man, Judd Burden, who I'm, you know, we're doing this retreat together. Um, he responded to one of my Instagram posts. And I could have easily, you know, just, just hit the heart button and not responded. But instead, I tracked his phone number down and I picked up the phone and I called his 1-800 number for his company. And I got somebody on the phone and I was able to convince that person on the phone that I had enough value to present, uh, you know, that they gave me his cell phone number, which they weren't supposed to do. And I ended up talking to him and from day one like that, uh, it was like we were the best of friends. We were perfectly in alignment. Uh, we share the same values. We share the same vision for helping people. And so I tell you the guys that story because what are you doing? And, and I didn't think about that that day. It's not like, you know, I had this like long drawn out thought process about what to do. You know, it was... 20 years of me being in sales that told me to pick up the phone and call. And so when I say, what do you deserve? I believe that 20 years of cold calling and doing the right things and, and picking up the phone, uh, you know, to, to call people and make those connections. And lots of those connections led to nowhere. But that particular connection Maybe it was one that at that point I'd put in enough work to deserve because it's not luck, guys. It's not luck. It's thousands of phone calls that led to that connection, that led to truly changing my life and feeling more fulfilled and being able to do things in business for each other, by the way. Like mutually beneficial relationships are the only ones that work. It's not as if, you know, uh, I do a lot for Judd. And, and he doesn't do anything for me. It is a mutually beneficial relationship. When you talk about what you deserve, guys, think about the actions that it takes for people to get themselves in that situation. And I'm using that scenario because it's, it's one that has changed my life the most. And it all came from just that instant of, of making that decision. And so when you guys have the decision to make, to do something or not do something, always encourage yourself to take the chance. Because the worst thing that can happen, guys, is that nothing happens from it. 
And there have been thousands of those times in my life. But the only way that you get what you deserve is if you will, you are willing to take the chance every chance you get. Every chance you get. You have to be willing to put in the work to get what you deserve. And that is, if I could teach you guys anything this morning, it is be willing to take those chances because you just might meet that person that changes your life. You just might get that opportunity that allows you to open a business, take control of your own life, to get started on the things that you've been wanting to get started on. But if you take your time on every decision and you just you know sit there and think, should I, shouldn't I, should, you will never do anything in life. And so that is, you know, it's it's just, Life is too short to sit there and think, guys. The only way that you're going to get what you deserve is by being willing to take every shot you got. And and that's the truth. And by the way, guys, it's exhausting to take every shot that you get because it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of sacrifice and it takes a lot of persistence and a lot of failure. You know, the close rate in sales, average close rate in sales is like 30%. So anybody that works in sales, owns a business, they're failing 70% of the time. To get what you deserve in business, you have to be willing to fail 70% of the time. Or you won't get the 30%. Remember that. The only way that you get what you deserve in sales and business is to be willing to endure the failure. And... People don't think that way. They think they're deserving of what people are going to give them or the breaks that they're going to get. The only breaks you guys get in life is the ones that you create. I promise you. If I look back in my life, there is, you know, a, a lot. There's, there's, there's n- n- not a lot of luck. There's a lot of hard work that led to opportunities that I took advantage of. And, you know, I, again, guys, I don't tell you that because I'm, I'm trying to, you know, blow up my own story or, or uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like that kind of attention. But at the end of the day, it's an example of, you know, I wasn't given anything in life. You know, I've had people, uh, you know, s- say to my wife, like, oh, I, I heard that Brian's parents were really wealthy. And uh, man, what a compliment. Right. What a compliment. You know, I I was far from poor, but for people to think that my parents were extremely wealthy, man, that's a great compliment uh, because that's just not the case. And, you know, I have worked hard. My parents taught me to work hard. My my dad worked his ass off his entire life to give us a great life. Um, But, you know, we were taught that you don't deserve anything. You don't deserve a handout. You create that. I started delivering newspapers when I was 11 years old. That was my first job. And my dad got up at 4.30 in the morning every day to take me to deliver newspapers before he went to work, before he drove an hour to get to work every single day as a steel worker. So, you know, the the topic of what you deserve is is one, as you guys can see, is very sensitive to me. You know, you deserve what you create. And uh, so I will, I will leave you guys with that. Um, you know, again, the, the podcast is getting a lot of attention, guys. I appreciate you guys sharing it, tagging people, um, you know, getting new people in front of here. You know, the, the viewership, uh, the live people that are on here every day grows almost every single day. Uh, there's a lot of views happening on the, on the Facebook videos. The more you guys share that, the more Facebook shows it to more people. Uh, The more you guys share the podcast, obviously, the more people subscribe and listen to it and the better community we can build. And so uh, you guys will see as this retreat gets a little closer, we're working on a website uh, that you guys will be able to get information from and uh, 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 a website and a video that will explain exactly what's going to happen at the retreat, what kind of experience you can expect. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Please uh, feel free. There's a post on my wall. There's a post on Judd's wall. Please feel free to... uh, Comment and tag anybody in there that you think might be interested. Uh, My DMs were on fire last night after we posted that thing. So anybody that is interested in attending that event, please send me a DM. We do have limited spots, and that's not a sales pitch. Uh, Just limited spots uh, to house people at those resorts. 
uh, at those uh, villas. So please, by all means, uh, get get information to us as soon as you can so that we don't sell those out and you miss out. Uh, yes, Patricia, the retreat is for anyone. We've got some special contractor driven things uh, scheduled for that. But absolutely, the retreat is for anybody. It will change anybody's life that attends. So um, with that said, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in this morning. I will see you again tomorrow morning at 730. Uh, again, happy birthday to my man, Kingston, five years old. The little boy is growing up so fast. And uh, man, I just can't get enough of him. He's he is such a gift. So today is a special day for us. I appreciate you guys sharing it with me. And I will see you again tomorrow morning right here on Morning Perspective.